Welcome to Trexone Plays. Matt Miller with you at Trexone HQ. Well, we're into the final three episodes of my playthrough of Star Trek The Next Generation's A Final Unity. Today, we're going to be encountering the Chernak at Alinor. Let's roll the opener, have a quick ad break, then dive straight into this edition of Trexone Plays. Retro games with no commentary. This is Trexone Plays. <laughs> Sensors are picking up a vessel. Evasive maneuvers. Hi, Captain. Yellow a alert. Romulan warbird is on sensors. Locking our vessel. Torpedo away. Torpedo locked. Engage tactical maneuvers are being hailed. Captain hit. The enemy has engaged its self-destruct sequence. Direct hit. Fire. We are being Save hailed. victory. Their shields are failing. Our shields are holding. The Romulan Warbird has been destroyed. Sensors are picking up a vessel. Get us out of here. Aye, aye, sir. Enemy ship is firing. We who are up. Our phaser fire missed. <laughs> Torpedo spread maximum. Unidentified alien vessel ahead. They have locked weapons onto us. Red alert! Shields up! Hail them. There is no response. They are firing. Evasive maneuvers. The ship is decloaking. Targeting area. The target is out of range. No damage. Get us out of here. Engines unable to sustain current speed. Reducing speed to maximum warp. Captain, sensors indicate that the outpost has been destroyed. There are no survivors. Mr. Data, check the ship's computer for any possible identification of these aliens. We have no record of contact prior to these attacks. There have been rumors of a war between the Romulans and an unknown race on the other side of Romulan space. Perhaps these are the same aliens. I want to know why we had so little warning before the alien vessels attack. We did not detect them on our sensors until they were already within visual range. Did they have a cloaking device? During the battle, our sensors registered emissions similar to those of the alien probe that attacked Merton stations and the planetary shield protecting Phrygis. A chameleon field? That appears to be the case. Perhaps these aliens were also responsible for the attack on Merton station. The chameleon field is an ancient Chodak technology. These aliens might have borrowed it from them. Mr. Data, plot the course of the alien vessels based on their attacks in this sector. The pattern of their attacks would indicate that they are headed for the Zatarnus Nebula. Then it appears that the Romulans aren't the only race seeking the Unity device.
Miss LaForge, you have engineering. Yes, sir. I have correlated the ancient Chodak star chart with our own astrogation charts. Does it reveal the location of the Unity device? I can find no mention of the device. However, the chart does contain the planet Alinor. If Alinor was the administrative center of the Chodak Empire, isn't there a chance some trace of the Chodak remain, even today? That sounds like a long shot. It might be the only one we've got, number one. Where is Alinor? The planet is located inside the neutral zone. I don't think we need to worry about the treaty at this point. Still, we must use caution. There is a provision of the treaty which allows for scientific research. We'll use that as a cover for our mission. Mr. Wolf, inform Starfleet. Aye, sir. Lay in a course for Alinor, warp 5. Warp engines unable to sustain current speed. Reducing speed to maximum warp. Engage. Warning. Entering the neutral zone. Captain. I've been studying our records of one of the Chodak devices we found on Horse 3. It appears to have been designed to measure the period of a pulsar for use as a standard of time. Translating Chodak time units would be a major breakthrough. It will give us a better understanding of Chodak science. Unfortunately, the Zatarnus Nebula has expanded since the Chodak abandoned the station. The Nebula now completely obscures the pulsar. The Nebula grew that quickly? The Zatarnus Nebula is one of the youngest celestial bodies in the galaxy. Are there observations of a pulsar in that region of space? None in Federation records, but the Chodak star chart does contain a pulsar at the proper coordinates. Can we observe the pulsar ourselves? The pulsar is on the far side of the nebula. It cannot be observed from anywhere within Federation space. Does it have a name? We should be sure a science vessel is sent to observe it. The Chodak chart refers to it as the Gambara Pulsar. It lies in unexplored space near the Romulan border. Entering Federation space. Warning. Entering the neutral zone. Helm, standard orbit. Captain's Law, we have arrived at the planet Alinor, where we hope to find information about the Unity device, a legendary super weapon created by the ancient Chodak. Although we've managed to travel deep into the neutral zone without being challenged, I feel certain that an encounter with the Romulans is only a matter of time. We have completed our scan of the planet. The surface is heavily damaged and radiation levels are high, possibly the result of war in the distant past. Are there any life signs? No, sir, but we have detected an extensive network of caverns below the surface. We are picking up Cochrane field emissions from one of the chambers. Is it a natural phenomenon? I do not believe so. The field is exhibiting a binary modulation pattern, which may imply some form of computer in operation. Sounds like a good place to begin a search. Sir. Many of the caverns are heavily shielded. Our comm systems and transporters will be unable to penetrate them. The nearest beam in point is more than three kilometers from the Cochrane field source. Then that will have to be close enough. I'll lead the away team myself. Captain, we have no idea what's down there. We can't risk it. Number one, we have no choice. The Unity device, if it exists, could be a weapon of incredibly destructive power. We must learn what it is and what it can do. My knowledge of the Chodak could be vital to the success of our mission. All right, sir. I'll assemble and await him. Make it so. Beam down coordinates selected. Lieutenant Worf, please report to the transporter room.
Can you locate the source of the Cochrane field the ship's sensors detected? The Cochrane field source lies in this direction. If the source of the Cochrane field emissions is truly an operational computer, there's no telling what we might learn. I just hope there's enough information to allow us to find the Unity device. We simply can't go that way. I don't read anything unusual. The grill is held in place by a few alloy seals along the edge. I've recorded the information for later study. is an empty compartment. We are heading away from the source of the Cochrane field. What do you think of Chodak technology, Jordy? It's a curious combination, Captain. What do you mean? Well, a lot of this stuff looks pretty dated by Federation standards. Other things are so advanced, I can't even guess what they're for. We might be able to use the Chodak isolinear rod to activate this panel. It appears to be a control panel. It appears to be a control panel. There! This appears to be a list of events. I can't tell what time span the list covers. Line entry F could be us accessing this panel. The unscheduled arrival at line D is probably our arrival. Exactly. Then sentry AA3-G must be that derelict drone. Let's go back to the first page of entries. Line 6 must be the Romulans' arrival. It looks like they used the transporter and then returned to the arrival area. Perhaps they destroyed the main transporter to prevent anyone else from finding any information about the Unity device. It looks as if the Romulans landed a shuttle in some kind of landing dock as well as beaming in. I wonder why. simply be a maintenance drone. It appears to be fully operational. It appears to be fully operational. The large drone appears to be repairing the 
smaller one. I noticed an infrared flash transmitted between the two drones. I think it might have been some kind of deactivation signal. We could attempt to duplicate the pulse with the tricorder's output synthesizer. And that might allow us to turn the drones on and off ourselves. Interesting. The system works by separating the factors of the fifth order hyperbolic equation and... Data, just do it. Yes, Captain. freezes logic circuits by emitting broadband electromagnetic interference. The skeletal structure corresponds to that of a Romulan. from the tricorder deactivated the drone. There is a Chodak device of some kind behind the grate. We should leave the logic inhibitor here to prevent the door from closing behind us. blocks the walkway. Fascinating. It appears to be an energy storage device. It is a control panel. station for the drones.
are you? Where is your master? Speak. I am Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the Starship Enterprise. I have full authority to represent the Federation. Please follow me, sir. Our master will want to speak with you. Follow me, please. I see we have unexpected guests. Greetings. Please do not be alarmed. Our intentions are peaceful. Visitors are not shunned. Who are you? I am Captain Picard of the USS Enterprise. I represent the United Federation of Planets. How did you get here? We detected no other ships in the system. We have always been here. We are the uh, uh, caretakers of this planet. Caretakers? We thought this planet was abandoned long ago. We are the descendants of those who survived the Civil War. You are Chodak? You have heard of us. What is the purpose of your visit? We are on an archaeological research expedition. You risk war with the Romulans for mere curiosity? The Romulans? Our treaty with the Romulans makes an exception for scientific exploration. Yes, but a Romulan commander wouldn't worry about exceptions to your treaty unless the fight went badly for him. So you have dealt with the Romulans? A Romulan delegation was also here recently. What did the Romulans want? They too claimed to be on an archaeological expedition. They proved unfriendly. Perhaps you will be more amiable? We are on a peaceful mission. We seek only knowledge. We too are students of history. In fact, we are currently searching for an encryption rod which will give us access to the computer in the Hall of Records. We have not found any such rods, but this Hall of Records you mentioned would seem an excellent place to begin our research. The historical archives are stored in a computer, and there is no way to access the data without an encryption rod. We have expertise in data encryption. Perhaps we can extract the data without a rod. It is not unworthy of a try. Please follow my optimators to the Hall of Records. I am familiar with all known encryption techniques. Yes, your drone could be useful. No need to trouble yourselves. If you'll just point us in the right direction... I cannot let you wander unguided. The way to the Hall of Records is not direct, and there are many hazards. Perhaps you could lead us to the Hall of Records after all. Take the lead, First Optimator. Thank you. We're in your debt. Please step this way. We must use the transporter to get to the Hall of Records. Tell me more about this planet. It was once the administrative headquarters of a great civilization. After the Civil War, the planet was abandoned. But your ancestors were left behind. No. What do you mean? He means yes. Oh yes, that's what I mean. We are the caretakers. Our ancestors were left behind to take care of the planet. Our ancestors stayed to maintain the world until the Empire rose out of the ashes of its own folly. But it never happened. We are a patient race. The time is nearly at hand. What kind of civilization did you say this was? It was the most powerful civilization the universe has ever seen. We became too powerful. There is an old Earth proverb that might apply to such a situation. 
Absolute power corrupts absolutely. No, that wasn't the cause of our downfall. A dissident group of Chodak believed we were abusing our power. The civil war they started threw the Empire into oblivion. If you are finished discoursing on ancient history, I believe we have business to attend to. Yes, sir. Our apologies, sir. Please follow my optimators. I am not sure you realize what an incredible opportunity this is to be speaking to a living Chodak. I have so many questions to ask. The question reveals the questioner. Ask. What happened to the Chodak Empire? It seems to have vanished overnight. Surely a civil war couldn't have destroyed such a vast empire so quickly and completely. A small group of Chodak dissidents managed to remove the basis of Chodak power. With this restraint gone, the second class races of the empire joined in rebellion. Wanton destruction of everything Chodak followed. What was the basis of Chodak power? A weapon? Not a weapon, although it could be used as one. Rather... I thought I ordered you to turn off the security system. I thought I had. There must be... You imbecile. You will never pass your fifth challenge. Allow me to rectify my peer's incompetence. Permission granted. Give him the security rod, Optimator One. Yes, sir. Must have gotten through. Let's go. Follow me, please. Hurry, the system may rearm itself again. Optimator Du is dead, sir. His corpse is unimportant. The main computer is just ahead. This is the main computer. See what you can do. 